morning everyone look what i have here finally i am gonna try my miso zuke this is the uh, fermented tofu and it's fermented with um, beautiful organic uh, miso that i uh, wrapped uh, well first i wrapped the tofu and then i coated it with the miso but it was supposed to be ready by the 14th of july which i did not uh, open it I decided I was gonna wait and this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna try this I am gonna just clear off a piece and we're gonna try this together guys so I did change the paper very often but as you can see it's still pulling moisture out of the cheese because this is still very wet but I am going to check this out and open it up so I'm just gonna come here on this side whoop there we go and we're gonna try out this miso now this miso uh, sorry this tofu it has changed in color and in and in shape and it feels very creamy so there it is I guess I could just discard this piece here and we're gonna see what it's like and I still have leftover this is a miso that I use um, the sake it's got sake it's got orange skins in it so the taste of this is amazing by the way you could use this to marinate anything you want. Let it be another piece of tofu, seitan, and use it for cooking. Now, apparently, uh, it's supposed to be what you call the vegan foie gras. It kind of looks like foie, uh, foie gras, but it is supposed to be creamy. Mmm. And there it is. You could actually spread it like you would a cheese. But I want to try first without the spreading. Oh wow. Very good. Wow. That tastes very good. It has a taste almost like a wine taste. You could taste the miso in it, and you could even taste the orange in it. Wow. And very creamy. Look at this. It no longer has that tofu texture. Almost like a cream cheese. So there you go, guys. We had to wait a little for this, but look at how delicious this really is so I'm excited mmm take tofu and turn it into a cheese I'm just gonna pop this in my mouth and see mmm that is very good guys so there you go my update it tastes fantastic I would say give this a try yes you have a little bit of you need a little bit of patience to wait but very good it's so creamy very very good it has a nice creamy taste but it's picked up all the flavors of the mixture that I made that I coated the outside as you could tell this one here still has the coating on it and I'm going to keep this covered the way it is, so this way it doesn't, uh, it won't spoil. It shouldn't spoil because it's been fermenting long enough, but you never know. So I will keep this still wrapped. And this one here, we will have and eat. Very delicious. So there you go, guys. I waited long enough, but it was worth the wait. Very, very delicious. And different texture look at that no longer that texture of the tofu when I first started and if you check the video you will see 
how tofu normally looks inside. It almost has um, like holes and just doesn't look like tofu anymore. They say that it's supposed to be as creamy as lavash kiri. I'm not sure if you've ever tried that cheese. We have that here in Quebec and it does spread and feel just like it. It doesn't taste like it, but it feels, the texture feels just like it. Very, very good. Mm-hmm. Very nice. So I'm going to make my daughter try this and she'll tell us what she thinks. Okay, you want to try it? Okay, so come and try it like this. I just had my toast. Not too much. Oh, pick it up. There you go. I'll take this. Oh, I just got some on my nose. Mm-hmm. Creamy. It has the miso taste. It has the orange taste. It has the wine taste. Mmm, that's actually really good. It is good. You taste the orange. I like it. it. Took a while to get there. It took a long time. It took a couple of months to make That's this. really good. Mm-hmm. I know. And it's very soft and creamy. That's very good, does, actually. Does it feel like tofu? No. No. It feels like a... Like a creamy cheese. Yeah, like a cream cheese almost. Yeah. When you put it in your mouth. Yeah. Nice texture. So there you go. Mikey likes it also. If you want to know how to make it back up, go into, um, I have a video where you can go check. Uh, I'll put a link for you and I'll show you how I made my, um, my miso cover and how I wrapped it. And I will change the paper underneath because that one is completely soaking wet. There we go. And this is how I so I don't mess up. I kind of flip this back. And I do it this way, guys. And that's how I change the paper. And I'm going to put a little extra paper on this side because I will put that in there. So we could actually enjoy it. But there you go. Very easy. And it's just basically a matter of waiting for it to age. You have to wait. Patience is a virtue. And you have to change the paper on this as often as you can. So try to remember, mark it in the calendar if you have to. And this way you have, um, you don't forget. But the paper does need to get changed. You see how this one is wet? So I'm going to throw this in the sink. I can still use this, wash it out. It's going to look brand new. I can still use it to clean something with that. But there you go. Miso Zuke. It is a delicacy and it is simply delicious. So I hope you guys like this recipe. And my daughter loved it as well. Very nice and creamy. Look at this. You could actually just scrape the creaminess of this tofu. Look at that. Really, really good. So there you go. Hope you like this recipe, guys. And guess what? I'll see you in the next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.